in the first stage, I had a life coach in a group, Doug, and hot form at Cypher, I guess, if I remember correctly. And I brought some very weird mage deck, which wasn't actually very good because I don't know. I didn't have enough time to prepare it, and but I took probably too much risk in order having an you know original deck or trying to surprise my opponents, and it didn't work out very well, and I was. Lucky that I didn't end up the last one because otherwise I would be eliminated from the tournament. I finished with the score 2-2 and I had to go to the second second group. And yeah, there I was much better prepared. I beat Naira, life coach, but in the finals I lost to Jeb. And you know, I was first below the line, so I'm here only because Amas is missing, but yeah. Uh, I've prepared well for this tournament, I hope it will work out for me. There was a new card from League of Explorers, so no one has enough time and sometimes you play, you know, stable decks, you know like Secret Panel or like the decks which you played a million games before and sometimes you try to bring something new because you have surprise factor and sometimes it works very well and sometimes it doesn't and like in the first group, yeah, my deck was really weak to be honest, so that's the reason why it didn't work out. So, but yeah, like you with the new cards, you never have like enough time to prepare, and you have to take a risk in your, in case you want to play them. About the Kalanth already, like yeah, I think he's like the most difficult opponent. But yeah, I really enjoy playing versus him. And about the, the other, I would say the second player I fear the most is Dog because in the last half a year he improved insanely. Like. Like when I was researching him like a year ago, he was only stick with a few decks and like it was very easy for to prepare against him while in the last six months, let's say, he improved, he played a very big variety of the decks and like he's also became very reactive, so he's trying to prepare for his, their opponent. So it's the player I fear the most, maybe even a little bit more than Colento. Then there's a Cypher. Which I think he's a really good player, but for some reason I have some insane score against him. Like I, I have only wins versus him. I'm not sure if it's like 4-0 or something like this. But I don't know. Like I just feel comfortable whenever I play versus him. I know he's not bad, but somehow I win all the time. So I would like to, you know, keep on the record. And in my group, there's the Jeb, which I've played him only once in the qualifier. And he's, you know, very aggressive player. He's playing all the aggressive decks and he played them very, very, very good. So it's always like, you know, difficult to beat all the hunters, shaman, paladin and druids. So, you know, you need to have some strategy in order to prepare for him, which I tried, but you know, it's never easy versus him. Then there's Surrender. I've played him once at the seed story. I think I won the the match, but it was also very, very, very close. And uh, in the last month, he also, uh, you know, play, start playing more decks. So it's suddenly became much more difficult to prepare for him. So he's also like, you know, very good player. And then there are the Chinese guys, which are a little bit unknown because like the Chinese and the Western world is kind of you know, different scenarios. It's, it was really very difficult to even research the games, like what they are playing, with, what are their favorite decks. So I did the research, like, and every time we are playing these guys in China, we don't feel very comfortable, but when they are coming to Europe, they most of the time are kind of shaky. So uh, they're definitely underdogs here, but uh, yeah, they can surprise and like uh, the the quality of Chinese scene improved a lot in the last year, so I wouldn't be surprised if I see Chinese winner here. It depends a lot on the format of the tournament. It's so much different whether it's Conquest or Conquest with Ban or Last Year of Standing. Like, and it's kind of you know difficult to be ready for all these formats because they are like different for every tournament. So. What I do in general is that I have very wide range of the decks because then it's much more difficult for my opponents to prepare for me and I do research for my opponents or most of the time I just know them because I'm playing with them like all the time and I just pick 
the decks from the Spectrum decks I can play in order to beat their favorite decks. So that's what I'm doing. But some players, are, as you said, are you know, more focusing on their own lineup and just bring the best decks in general. If you stream a lot, you don't have simply time to prepare to play, to practice with the best players in the world, like you just playing ladder or do whatever you want. But if you are like locked in your room and like practice with other best players in the world and you simply improve more than by streaming, it's no doubt about it. You know, if you play the group and it doesn't really matter whether you first or last, then you know, there's no how to say it, like, no, I don't want to say no point on the games, but if there's nothing at stake, then you are not that motivated, the games are not that tense, so I don't like that one player is eliminated because it matters how you play in the groups, and it also matters whether you do the first or the second because you have, like, you know, three rounds, so I actually really enjoy the format here. When I can, I play the tournaments because it's the part of Hearthstone I really enjoy. Like about the streaming, I occasionally do it as well because I want to stay in touch with my fans and if I have some really cool idea, I want to present it myself. But what I love about Hearthstone is, you know, competing with the other players and the tournaments are the best way how to do it. I would say the group A is a little bit more difficult, but the, like, the difference is not that big because like everyone here is a good player so it's it would be like very difficult to be unbalanced because everyone here is a good player. Like, I like playing other great players and like especially Colanto and Doc like they are like awesome and like I like competing the tough opponents but I think like the groupie is a little bit easier but so I don't mind being there but obviously it's still not like super easy group or whatever, it's still gonna be difficult to advance. Well, I don't like playing life coach in the general, but otherwise, I, I especially playing versus Colento because our matches are always intense. Like I think in the last year we played 10 games together, we've scored 5-5, five, five, so it's a lot of matches and I actually like playing him a lot, but he's like not easy opponent, so. Obviously, like we are playing like all the time, we are pro professional players and we obviously, need to be ready in case something like this will happen so I don't want to say I'm not prepared obviously I am I've spent the whole month at home just playing preparing for the conquest format so I guess I'm ready I think the most likely is that I'm gonna win two games and lose once but who knows like it could be like better or it could be worse who knows and from the second group I expect Doc is being the greatest favorite actually so that's my predictions. Everyone can win the tournament, honestly. It's Hearthstone, it's, there are some luck factor involved, so everyone can win, but you know, from some players it's more likely than from the others, and I'm probably the one who's on the top of the scale of likelihood of, in terms of winning the tournament, so yeah.